Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 here with Rangers. Uh, we're starting off with some outgoing transfer news here. Andre Horta is coming to the end of his tenure here at Ibrox. A £40 million upfront fee is just too much to turn down and he's going to be going to the Bundesliga to join up with RB Leipzig. He's 26 years of age, he's in his prime and uh, yeah we're going to wish him luck. Um, wish you the best of luck for the future. No, I'm not going to tell him any of this. Nah. There you go. Good luck with the next step of your career. We're disappointed to lose you, but you've earned the chance. Make sure you give it your all. I'm going to tell him that. I had a great time here. Can't let the opportunity slip by. I thank you for agreeing to the transfer and giving me the chance to move on. So there you go. Everybody's happy. He's been a good servant. Let's check his stats over the time he's been here. Been here for three seasons. Didn't feature that much in first season. I think we joined. Uh, he joined up in January. Um, last season, fantastic, starting 33 league games, scoring 8 goals, getting 16 assists. This season, he was actually on his way uh, in terms of his average rating to doing better than that. He scored 7 goals, only one behind that 8 goals. You'd think he'd probably get more goals than actually get any assists, which surprises me. Um, but he has a 7.7 .7 average rating so far this season. So he's a hell of a player, and we'll wish him the best going over to Germany. Let's just see him leave officially. RB Leipzig tie up a 40 million deal for Andre Horta, who immediately is worth 47 and a half. He's on 145 grand. And if we look at the scout report, he is not as good as Rodrigo Fassi, and he's slightly better probably than Christian Paez. Uh, record transfer income, of course. The end of the 27 and a half to Roma was the previous record. How's he getting on actually? Mm, he's not playing, it's a shame. Um, and we obviously have the record, yep, national transfer fee, which previously was also Leandro Latiri. So, in terms of the hunt for the centre back, um, Nikola Katic sadly isn't here. Um, I did read the comment to search for the lad because Rangers are looking at him in real life, but he's not here. Um, Slavin Balupo, uh, we're. we're Katic does come from is un you know they're unfortunately not loaded. I haven't lo loaded the Croatian league, so unfortunately he's not considered a, an important enough player to be loaded in without his full team being loaded. So sadly he's not here, so I can't look at him. But we do now have thirty one uh, and a bit million again, and nearly two hundred grand. So we do have more money once again to go searching. What about Florentino Luis? I mean, no, Florentino Luis to me just looks a decent lad. I don't see much more than that in him. Right, let's 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 just look at the transfer list again. Let's refresh our memory on this one. We've got Turi and Zuma there who are okay. Um, Party for me is not a centre back. Mario Fernandez is more of a full back, but is a decent player. Thirty-two year old Russian. How is he as a centre back? He's below Ivan Elder Fernandez apparently. Um, okay, who else is here? Ben Davis is okay. Isri Konsa again looks all right. He doesn't look any better than than Murray Wallace there. Thought he'd have looked at that Leifus lad. Tilo Kerrer is actually not bad. Well, we look at him. What's he listed for? Seven seven five. Mm. Maybe we'll have a scout on him. If we can actually scout him before the deal is done with Cologne, we'll also scout Luis Burke. But I don't think he's particularly great. Uh, where are we? <clears throat> Any transfer status, and we'll just look through. It. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll just look through centre backs. <clears throat> One second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so we'll look through centre backs. Um, I think what I'm also going to do is specify the age. Um, no more than 19. Let's go for a proper young centre back. He's too small. Uh, they're all okay. Check Samb isn't very good, apparently. But this lad, Killian Biznard, 
Let's scout him out, wee poor toe boy. How tall is he? 185, he's a decent size. Liam Wakefield, young English centre back. Jumping reach three. Mm -hmm. I think he's definitely a full back. Sancho Furtardo, 174, too small as well. What about these guys who are on loan? They look okay. I mean, the market really isn't there from what we can see at the moment. Yusuf Osturk at Benfica is probably the best option I can see. They don't want to sell him, but he is better than Murray Wallace already. Let's make an offer. Let's bid five million and see what they say. Thirty and a half. Pfft. So really, they want about seventeen million or something. I don't know. Um. Nah. Nah. I I can't justify that for a player who might become good enough. It's just I can't justify it. I'm afraid. Nikoli Mihailov. No good enough with the ball at his feet. For me. Um, and then we start going back to players like Bottini here. And then we're into players who just aren't good enough. What about the Scotland youth side? Let's have a wee look here. Scotland. So in fact, what about the senior side? Who are they playing at centre-back? Murray Wallace is in there. Harry Souter is getting a game who's... Yeah, he looks a good player down at Stoke. It cost way too much money to get hold of him. Who's this? Stefan Barrowman. On loan from Stoke at Sheffield Wednesday. Looks, a, looks an okay fullback. Nothing great. Uh, Grant Hanley is one of the centre backs. Who's fine. Is he really better than Murray Wallace? Not particularly. Oh, look, Billy Gilmore's actually on the side now. Looks an okay player. Right, let's drop down to the youth level here. The under 21s. Johnny Mitchell from Falkirk <sighs> is okay. The young Max Woods, uh, again, can he really play? First touch is only six. That's no good enough. Ewan Barr at Charlton on loan from Wolves. He looks a potential player. He looks a potential player. First touch, eight, passing seven's not great though, again. The real struggle is to find a ball playing defender. Do we already have him? Michael Aitken? Mm, nah. Alex Donald? Nope. Michael Leighton, perhaps at County? Nah, first touch five, passing five. Jeez, oh man, it's a much tougher task than I thought to find this guy. What about the under 20s? Nah. Don't look particularly great. Paul McCall? Nah. It's a real struggle to find a good centre back, I'll tell you. Jordan Houston, key player to Falkirk. Uh, pay some of his wage, please, though. No. Uh, <laughs> the offer from Hearts, they're paying some wages, is that right? Yeah, they're going to pay 40% at least, so I'm afraid Falkirk can't get him. Is this that we've no, rejected or looked at or what? We rejected all of them. Unless it's counting that Falkirk bid for Houston, but I don't know why that's shown up. Well, I think it could actually be the end. the end of the market now uh, it's a uh, it's a bid there from Atletico for Densville I mean again we're looking at we're looking at like a 30 million figure for him no nah, not willing to bid it that's perfectly fine I was actually hoping they wouldn't there if they would have just accepted that would have been in trouble panic by a centre back at the moment, we were playing and everything. I think we just bank the money. 
Chia Cherry wants to leave and join Juventus. Well, Juventus haven't made a bid for you, son, so... No, you're not going anywhere. Um, no point discussing this, it's all hypothetical. There we go. We'll just fob him off. Hopefully they just don't come in. That'd be great. Do we have any potential lads down here? Let's see. I mean, Alex Donald, the centre-back. <sighs> I don't see it in him, I'm afraid. Determination 11. Trent can tutor him with 13. Sam Byram can tutor him with 11. Yanis Horn can tutor him with 15. Do you know what? Yanis Horn might as well do it, considering he's not doing anything else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make him a project. Let's development, let's try and train him to be a ball playing defender god his tackling's only 6, that's abysmal man but let's work on that first touch and we'll actually promote him to the senior squad we'll start playing him it's a punt of a project I must say but we're quite far ahead in the league now so I'm just hoping that the distance that we've already managed to open up between ourselves and Celtic is enough to carry us through and we'll get away frankly with playing this young man going forward not all the time of course, the main three will still be in there most of the time uh, Edelman possibly on the move to Cologne, absolutely not his contract doesn't allow that does it? no, no release clause so he won't be going anywhere I'm not even going to negotiate that, I'm just going to flat out reject any bid that's coming in for Marcel Edelman He's a great left wing back. And with Trent Alexander-Arnold now on the other side, I think we're really, really strong, actually, in the wing back positions. Um, anybody here looking good? No, not really. Nah, nobody's looking particularly great. Even this Bissnard guy just looks all right. Uh, Osturk is the best option, but we can't be bidding all that, surely. Tilo Kerrer is good. He's slightly better than Murray Wallace, but eight million for me is too rich. Eight million's far too rich. And Sven Weil is actually now at Leipzig. Fair enough. What did they have to pay in the end? Ten seven five. Who is the centre back pairing for the Dutch under nineteens? Let's check. Uh, Raymond Martis and Bilal Coster. Bilal Coster looks a player man. Woofed. We mind getting a hold of him. Let's just scout a couple of these boys down here. Marcel Kustels. Oh, he's a right back. Need to worry about that at the moment. Cis van Santen. Looks another decent player actually. Ajax seem to be bringing through a couple of good ball playing defenders. Peter Den Otter looks okay, but he's already 19, not really enough time to work on those weaknesses. Uh, Dennis De Jong, Leicester was also just determined okay by our scouts, although I think they've underrated them there. Liam Van Gilderen is actually an Ajax youth at the start of the game, we're using him in an Ajax Youth Academy challenge at the moment which is currently being recorded but hasn't yet been released look out for those episodes coming up on weekends by the way more on that later but just because just we spotted the lad here and Kick Pieri is also a decent lad but he's at Spurs so obviously no chance of getting him uh, and obviously we're not going to get any of the senior players but what's De Vrij on? 165 grand <laughs> alright then Yeah, and everybody else is just okay. Ozturk really would have been the main man there, but I'm not paying 30 million quid for him, no chance. We'll try and bring our own young boy through and see what happens. Major, major work needed, of course, for Alex Donald, but you never know. There's a 15.75 million bid for Marcel Edelman which I'm just going to bat right out of the park no chance we're even listening to them and Jordan Houston is away to Hearts on loan good for him we'll see how he gets on getting regular first team football 
they're going to play him as an attacking mid on the right. Uh, Mabudi's ready for this, Lewis Davidson is too, and Robin McCrory's not particularly, but we're going to be going with a full strength team anyway here. Uh, Alex Donald can come on to the substitutes bench, and so can Jamie Burjonas. Marcel Edelman, um, be on the bench for Sebastian Young, actually Mitchell will then go onto the bench so we can play the first 11, which is Fulton, Riedel, Denswell, Wallace, Alexander Arnold, Edelman, Pez, Fassi, Chiacheri, Morelos, and Molina. It is indeed the full strength 11 today. We're taking no chances after getting knocked out of the last cup by Falkirk trying to go rotational. Onyedima, Williamson, Portheus, Sheridan, they're all playing for them today as well. They're taking absolutely no chances. It's all over to you boys. Have a good one today. Hopefully we can go out and just put them to the sword. We're a far better team than them playing the first 11. We should do the business. The Argentine connection in the middle there should cope fine with the loss of Andre Horta. Oh, well done. Riedel attacking the ball well, switching it into Pérez. Drills it forward. Molina wide for Edelman returning it to the squad. Cuts it across. Poor ball though. But Denswell finds Alexander-Arnold. Defence are asleep. Oh, and that's a sitter from Walter Molina there. Absolute sitter. The Hibs defence was totally lost there and we've, we've wasted a huge opportunity. Gia Cherry and Alexander Arnold playing between them. Now it's Pez. Terrible play from him. Frizzell forward for Fletcher, Denswell dominating him once again. Chia Cherry, lovely trick past his opponent, has a shot! Oh, good save in the end by Woodman. What an effort that is. That's probably why Juve are tracking the lad. Fassi looks for a long range effort, but it's easy enough for Freddie Woodman. Celtic one up at Dens Park, sadly. I wouldn't mind winning this cup without having to go through them. Hearts are down though ahead of Stenhouse Muir. Riedel, Pérez, Alexander Arnold, Chiacheri. Ah, Sheridan is equal to it this time. Well, their game plan's pretty clear. They're just going to launch it up to Ashley Fletcher there, but he doesn't even have the physical capability to cope with our centre backs. Chiacheri, Morelos, good save again, Freddie Woodman. He seems determined to make this more difficult than it should be. Fassi deflect, Fassi again just over. Still don't know how Woodman only gets a 6.8 for that. Corner now, Pérez. Wallace off the line and then eventually Denswell puts it back into the mix and Alberto Chiacheri, don't know how much he knew about it but that is his 50th Rangers goal. 1-0 here in the cup as we chase a double this season. Hearts are level by the way against Stenhouse Muir sadly through Walker. Way Stenhouse Muir through Gallagher are back ahead. Frizzell, oh, ho, ho, terrible ball. Alexander Arnold nicks it. Back to Fulton. Wallace, Fulton. Lovely casual play. Riedel goes way long over the top. Chia Cherry peels wide in space. Morelos attacks on oh, his missed. Must say, I did not expect him to be putting that wide. Well, half time at 1 0. Got to guard against complacency. Then I think the job's done. Alexander Arnold, who's on the booking, is coming off for Byram. It's been a quieter game for him today than his debut, but he's done solid. 6.9. Just coming off, make sure he doesn't get sent off. Murray puts it in, headed, oof, just over by Fletcher. Finally getting the better of the centre backs in the air there, Fletcher, but he's just nodded over. And Pez is injured. This is. This is all we need. In comes Burjonas. We're confident the lad can step up though. What's wrong with him? Potential foot injury. I bet he's broke his foot or something. Right, Molina's corner in. Header away on Yudima picking it up. Don't you dare let him buy you. Nope, goes long. Too long. Easy for Edelman. We're getting numbers forward though here. Hibbs, Frizzell. Long. For Murray, oh, it's a shocker. Chia Cherry for Morelos. There goes Molina as well. It's out to Walter Molina. Slowed down, though, by the reaching Hibs players. Campbell nicks it from Fassi. 
counters on the other way now. It's getting more end to end here than I would like. Oh, it's a shocker of a pass by them. Cheer Cherry. Here we go. But Jonas Morelos. Oh, it should be an assist for Burjonas. Morelos with a bit of a sitter there. It's fallen to Edelman, who hits one off. Nosebleed territory there for Marcel Edelman. I'm going to bring my booty on for Morelos. Morelos has been terrible today. 6.1. Jack Aitchison, the Celtic striker, is coming on for them. Is he on loan from Celtic? Or do they have him now? He's still on loan from Celtic. Clark, Aitchison now. Lovely tackle. Edelman, here we go on the break. Molina, this has got to be the nail in the coffin. Walter Mo <laughs> He's done it again, folks. He's done it again. Oh, dear. Aitchison down the line, easily picked up by Wallace. That's a lovely ball, and again, no, nope. Byram, Chiacheri, eventually gets to its destination. Molina hit it this time, son. Well, it was better than last time. He's getting closer. I'd like another goal, but... Let's see, 1 0 is never enough, unless it's over and you've won 1 0. And we're just kicking it off them. Right, go on, my booty. You're going to have to do it yourself, son. Oh. Well, he got closer than Molina or Morelos has done all day. Alberto Chiacheri, clearly the cut above the rest of them, though, up top so far. And with 40 seconds to go and Hibbs in possession. I'm a little bit worried. Here they come. Yes, nicked by Denswell. Wallace, back to the keeper. There you go. Fulton rushing that a wee bit though. Well defended. Vido Long, Mabudi now. That should be game over now. Can we nick the second to deliver that hammer? Blow! Oh, and Chia Cherry's hit the bar. He probably should have had a second. But it's 1 0. It's a victory that all that matters. Hibs are out the cup. We're through. Chia Cherry, man of the match. Not a lot more to analyse, really. And Celtic go through. Yep, 2 nothing for Celtic. Trezeguet and Nathan Redmond. <clears throat> it's four weeks for a tris twisted ankle for Christian Piers. We will survive. We will survive. Actually, all of a sudden, we're actually quite light in the middle of the park. Could have done with keeping somebody like Cataldi. Uh Lo Celso's not bad. Tiago, hi, hold on. Just break out my tour on forty five grand a week. Mohamed El Neni. These guys are particularly great. Sergio Samper. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add the condition of age to this one. There's got to be a wee nineteen year old. No, we're not transfer listed. Central midfield. There's got to be a wee 19 year old prospect in there. Florian Dietz. <laughs> Jesus, look at him, man. 47.5 million minimum fee release clause. Yeah, a wee bit too rich for my blood. All these guys are out on loan. Now you get to Jimmy Bradbrook at Everton, who is a good player. But he'll probably go on loan to Charlton. Then you've got Mark Smith at City, who's definitely a good player as well. Scout him, see if we could buy him. Axel Fry at Wolfsburg. Again, scout and see if we could get him. Robert Sauer, also at Wolfsburg. A lot of the we're just gonna rack up a lot of scout reports here on young lads. Young Anthony Edwards, who already has two Wales caps. He's at Cardiff. Paul Ritchie, the Scotsman, was at East Fife and then Dunfermline now plays his trade for Huddersfield. Actually has two Premier League starts to his name. Let's see if we can scout him as well. And then this Bisnard guy's here too. Still scouting him. Lucas Janssen at Werder Bremen. Scout him as well. And in terms of our under 20s, I don't think we have any midfielders. Curtis Frank Francesi. He's already 18 and he doesn't look as if he's going to make the grade. Maybe we actually, maybe we knock it up to 20, 21 and see if there's any youngsters there. 
just absolutely want to 100% make sure we get a classy player in that will complement Fassi and Paez. The ship has certainly sailed on Jonas being good enough. Going forward, at least. I think he can play perfectly well in the Premier League. For example, over the next four weeks, he's going to do fine coming in against the likes of Ayer and Falkirk. That'll be no problem at all. It's just when we play the likes of um, RB Leipzig coming up in the Champions League, that's when I'm going to worry a little bit. As I say, let's bump this up to 21. There should be some good young 21-year-olds here we could pinch. Jimmy Bonnet. <laughs> Jesus, look how good he looks, man. Oof. 20 Premier League starts this season. Doubt we're going to be able to get him. Andy Clark, likewise, at Manchester City, although he hasn't played for them. But unlikely we're going to get Martin Betcher at Schalke there. Comes from Anderlecht. Yeah, I suspected that would be the case. Let's look at Anderlecht, actually. Ethan Tuney. He looks a good player, man. Only 20 years of age. Jamie Yayi Mpai. <laughs> Let's have a look at him. He's actually a real player. He's not a regen. A lot of scouting going on in this episode. Uh, Danny Turner at Man United. Uh, more of an advanced player. Christian Liasa. 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 Whatever. Lassie Rintanen. Scout him as well. I knew he would be finished for some reason. Sergei Denisov we scout reporting him as well and actually Billy Gilmore see if there's any chance of bringing him back to Rangers 2023 his contract's going to expire at Chelsea we scout reporting him we could turn him certainly into a central midfielder we could just go back to Argentina and look and see if they've got anybody Okay, fifth round draw. Kilmar eh, yeah, Kilmarnock, Queen of the South, will play Alawar Hamilton. Ross County up in Dingwall to host Stenhouse Muir. Inverness host St. Mirren or Partick. East Fife will play Motherwell. Dundee United at Tannadice against Anna Norman Trows. This is getting awfully close to an old firm for my liking. Queen's Park will host Aberdeen. Rangers at Ibrox will play. I wouldn't mind this to be Celtic, to be honest, if we've got them at Ibrox. Falkirk. Dumbarton or St Johnson will play host to Celtic. It's not too bad. Getting rid of Falkirk away from home is not going to be... You know, it's, it's not to be scoffed at that. They're a good team, Falkirk. Hell, they put us out at the Falkirk City Stadium in the League Cup. So a chance for revenge here. RB Leipzig just spent £50 million on a guy called Wallace. Is that the, it is the defensive player. How much... Oh no, they made that money. Yeah, he went to China. Okay. How much money have they spent? They spent 63 and brought in 160. Bloody hell. So that's probably how they could afford to get 40 million for Andre Horta. Right, Ross County want to loan Scott Anderson. Key player, please. No, first, te first team's fine. First team's definitely fine. Darren Graham like to link up with Alfredo Morelos. That's good news. His determination is 14. Anybody else shoot at him? No. Transfer deadline is in a week. And we're going to rotate here against Air. Hopefully we'll be able to do this. Skip the briefing, of course. And hopefully we should be able to get the three points even rotating. Mabudi, McCrory and Davidson sort of play we're not going to put McCrory in he's iffy on being able to play Paez is out for Burjonas of course um, Sebastian Young onto the bench Lewis Davidson is going to start ahead of Walter Molina Dapo Mabudi in for Alfredo Morelos Alberto Chiacheri is out for Gallagher and I'm actually going to take mm, no I'm going to take Sebastian Young off the bench and put Darren well I actually want to start Darren Graham as well I'll start Graham ahead of Fassi and I'm going to start Gallagher in the centre of midfield there. Yeah, I think Gallagher's probably not going to make it either. It's a shame. 
he's looked a de decent lad and he's been in and around the first team for a couple of years now but he's just not developed to the point where I think he's going to be able to take his game to that next level he's never going to be good enough up top against players like Chia Cherry and he's never going to be good enough in the midfield against players like Fassi Alexander to Edelman go on whip it son let's get the nice early lead it's in it's Mabudi it's well wide it's a bit of a sitter there son come on now Griffiths Russell Griffiths with a goal kick Pfft, Wallace just takes it down with ease Edelman finds Bird Jonas Davidson flicks it to Mabudi oh he's put it wide again lovely play by Davidson actually Edelman Mabudi now Gallagher lots of distance between him and goal plays in Trent Alexander-Arnold just wide Gallagher looking good in the midfield actually up at a 7 already for Jonas to Edelman going all the way down the left still going still going whipped in headed away Gallagher into Davidson and Griffiths just picks it up looked promising but in the end no chance really forward for Riley Riedel away only as far as Burns now Jones Henderson Anya that's a good signing for air actually Jones out wide Riley, come on, somebody take it off them. Henderson to Anya, into Riley, shooting opportunity back to Anya. They want to walk it in, it's chipped in, headed away. Fired in by James Jones. And so much for them walking it in. It's about a 30 yard dart from James Jones beyond the outstretched Fulton, 1 0 to Air United. And are we being punished for rotating once again? Get it forward. Alexander Arnold. Graham makes a nice run. He's in. He squares it. Davidson hits a bar. Oh, come on. Gallagher. Easy for Griffiths. If we're playing the proper front line, this is about 4 1 by now. Come on. A goal before half time and we keep faith with the youngsters in the second half. Gallagher, Graham, for Jonas, good play. Edelman down the line. There you go. No. It's nicked. Come on, Davidson. It's into Mabudi. Akers shoots and scores. There you go, son. If he missed with that much time and space, then we might as well just release him right now. But he doesn't make the mistake. It's a lovely finish. Let's get another one. Make it 2 1 before the break and just crush that spirit over the top header away poor one though Davidson from Mabudi it's Graham chance nah right at the keeper but Jonas's corner now header away good defending from here I think they're going to make it to half time Yep, they are indeed going to make it to half time, right? We we need to give them an absolute bollock in here. Celtic are two one up in their game. We are at one apiece. Somehow Lewis Davidson's off for Alberto Chiacheri. We put Graham on that left hand side. Statistically, apparently Graham's played better today than Davidson, so we'll go that way. Surely a Juventus transfer target can rip Air United to shreds. Here he is, Chiacheri now. Simple ball, Alexander Arnold giving away to Anya. Forward to Riley, flooding forward again. Henderson, Riley, well done, Dens. Well, finally somebody who steps up and takes it. The booty's in for a double. Oh, it's too easy for Griffiths. It's a good save, but Zanata giving away to Gallagher. Riedel now looks long, taken by Chia Cherry. Graham into Mabudi. Another chance for the young lad. He's put it well wide this time. He gets till the hour mark and then Morelos time. Actually, Morelos will come on for Graham. For Jonas's corner. Mabudi, Chiacheri, how does he miss? From about one yard, he's headed it against the bar. Edelman, for Jonas now, puts it in, cleared away by James Jones, who's absolute stunner got to start it today. Gallagher now, a bit of space, Chiacheri fires it well wide. 
he's trying too hard. Right, Graham is off for Morelos now. Mabudi can go wide. Morelos down the middle. Demand more. Come on. Rodrigo Fassi will come on for Barjonas. We're in dire need now. Overload. More risks. Push up everything. Push forward. Come on. There's only so much I can do here. Gallagher. Good ball down the line. Mabudi. First time cross. Morelos. Bang. Thank you. Concentrate, please. Don't screw this up. This will, of course, maintain our 10-point advantage at the top of the league. Mabudi will be man of the match, I suspect, actually, with a goal and an assist. Even though he's missed about 10 chances. Should Cherry looked offside there. Not given. No, it is. It is in the end. And that'll be the last action. Please blow the whistle. Give me my three points. Let's get the hell out of here. Oof. And in the end, Mabudi, who made it so much harder than it needed to be, actually gets the man of the match as we win 2-1. Celtic hold on to their 2-1 advantage as well. One more game for Mabudi and he's up to six grand a week. Yeah, which is fine. He's a decent lad still, I think. Wanted by Sheffield Wednesday. Houston played 90 minutes, did not play well in the Edinburgh Derby. And the Cologne boss was there scouting Edelman. That's eight matches, one in a row. But I'm, I'm wary this episode's running on a little bit now. Two okay performances. We got the victories at the end of the day. A lot of rotation against Ayr. Uh, if it shows us one thing, it's that those young lads still aren't quite ready to start these Premier League games. We barely got away with it. And we needed Morelos off the bench to actually finish the job at the end there. But as I say, I'm wary this episode's running on a little bit now, we're up nearly 40 minute mark. So I just want to quickly end, say thank you guys for watching. If you've liked the video, please drop down below, like the video, subscribe, all those wonderful things. Mostly though, I will see you next time when we're going to be finishing off the transfer business and taking on Falkirk. Probably won't get to the Dundee game next time, probably just Falkirk. So as I say, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you for that.